Okay, okay, I'm ready. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Jorge. Hi, Miss. How are you? Um, you know, I'm a little bit sick today. So I will ah. try to speak a little bit, you know. <clears throat> Un poquito más bajo ahora. Sí, you know, I have been sick since yesterday afternoon. I don't know why. But yeah, I would try to feel better for tomorrow. Okay, I promise. <laughs> okay, I understand. Yeah. I um, mm -hmm. think the Monday, um, Tuesday, I have in hospital. Oh. Or less. Really? Yeah. See, sorry, we're no start in the class. Yeah, I didn't know, you know, nobody told me, but I really hope you feel better now. Yeah. Yeah, so it's nice to have you here in the class. Okay. <laughs> okay, welcome. Let's wait for your classmates, okay? Hola. Hi, Jorge. Hello. How are you? ¿Cómo estamos? Teacher, ¿me escucha? Sí, puedo escucharle. Okay. ¿Cómo estamos? How are I'm you? fine. You're doing good. Okay, excellent. Hello, Bien. Carlos. How are you? <laughs> uh, hello, Jorge. Marles. Okay, there we go. So let's say hi to Glenda. Well, I guess she's not listening. Hi, Glenda. Hi, teacher. How are you? Mm. Very good. Very good. <laughs> but, but you don't sound that good. Okay, but don't worry. Thank you so much for being here in the class. Let's say hi to Edenilson. Hi, Edenilson. Hi, Elena. How are you? How are you? I'm a little bit sick today, you know, to be honest. So, in today's class, you are going to be the ones speaking, you know, speaking a lot. So, speaking a lot. yes, right? <laughs> because you need to practice. We need to practice, right? Okay. Yes. Excellent. We have Josue in the class and Rita. Hi, Rita and Josue. Hi, teacher. Hello. Rita, tengo días de no verla. 
¿Qué se me hace rica? Se me esconde. Hola. Teacher, no nos sirve la cámara. No sé qué le pasó a la función con la que nos, eh, nos la ponen en el móvil. Ah, ok. Sí, por eso Ajá. ya no tengo bastante. Pero ahí he estado presente. No, yo sé, yo sé. You have been participating as well. There we go. Eh, bien, clase. Eh, sí, les decía que he estado desde ayer como con dolor de garganta desde la tarde. Bien raro porque en la clase que tuvimos, todo normal, ya tipo 5 de la tarde, sí empecé con la tos. Entonces, si apago mi cámara o quito el audio de repente, ya saben por qué es, ¿ok? Puede tomarse la, la hora libre, no hay problema. Ah, ahí sí, si quieren, nos vemos después de agosto, las vacaciones ¿verdad? de agosto. Sí, <risa> da, da, da. No, imagine. This week we are going to finish with section number four. So it means that the last section is next week. So after that we have vacation. Si detenemos una clase, significa que tendríamos que volver después de vacación por una clase. So, no, mejor esforcémonos ahorita para que puedan irse tranquilos ya a vacación. E incluso creería que después de esa semana tendrían todavía una más libre o dos. Depende de cuánto se tarde el proceso para el siguiente curso. Así que es mejor que ahorita terminemos. Section number four. Vamos a ver, if you remember, hoy tenemos mucho trabajo que hacer, así que esta es nuestra introducción. Class number 11. As you may see, we have been describing people. First, in the first class, we were describing hair. Okay. Yesterday, we were learning how to make questions, okay? To ask about appearance. And this is the first question that we have. If we want to talk about general appearance, como luce la persona en general? No siendo específicos, right? Not asking about the hair, the age, height. We are just asking about the appearance. ¿Cómo luce esta persona? This is the question that we are going to use. In this case, we are asking about a girl, a lady, right? So what does she look like? What does she look like? We can have the question using what, or we can also have the same question using how. But the most common that no, you are going no, no, no. to listen is using what. Okay. También podríamos decir la misma pregunta utilizando how. Y sonaría así. How, how does she look like? But it's not that common. La más común es what. Aunque la traducción de what es que. Pero sería cómo luce ella. What does she look like? And we can be giving this type of examples. Using an adjective. Or you can also be specific with some information. For example, what does she look like? You can be specific by saying... Ah, she is tall with brown hair. Or you can use an adjective. She is pretty. She is beautiful. She is um, smiley. I don't know. Depende de ustedes. Si quieren ser específicos, you can use the first example. And if you want to make like a comment, you can use this one. An adjective. What does he look like? What does she look like? Remember, look like. We need to use these expressions together. Look and like. ¿Cómo se ve? What does he look like? Muy bien. Another question that we have is whenever we want to ask about height. ¿Qué tan alto es él? ¿Qué tan alta es ella? In this case, again, we are asking about a girl. That's why we are going to use how tall is she. 
how tall is she? Or if you want to be more informal, you can only say, how tall? ¿Qué tan alto? Y no damos contexto, porque ya sabemos si estamos hablando de ella. Podemos omitir esa parte. Hey, how tall? ¿Qué tan alta? But in this case, let's learn and let's practice using the complete structure. In this case, asking with how. How tall is she? In the case of El Salvador, this is the information or this is how we are going to give the information using meter and then we are going to add the centimeters, right? So in my case, I am one meter 72. There we go. Remember, we are just going to say one meter and right after, we are going to mention los centímetros, okay? 78, 52, 61, it depends on you. And this is how we are going to express. As you may see in the second example, this is a different metric. But in El Salvador, we don't use this information. Probably in the United States, if you go to those countries in which they use this metric, Yes, you will be forced to have this type of information. But as we are in El Salvador, yes, we are just using meter. How tall is she? You can be specific, right? But if you don't know the exact height, what can we do? We can use an expression. I am tall. I am medium height, I am very tall in those expressions, okay? Dos opciones, siempre dos opciones. Queremos ser específicos, damos la medida exacta. If not, we are going to use an expression. Okay, ¿cómo estamos hasta este punto? Questions, comments about this information? Because yesterday we were practicing about this. This is just a review, okay? So you can remember about this information. Is everything clear? Do you want me to repeat any type of information or not? No? Are we good with this information? Okay, so let's move on. How do we express whenever we want to describe appearance, but being specific and describing hair? The question that we are going to use is how. If you see for height, we are going to use how. If you want to ask about the hair, you are going to also use how. How long? How long is her hair? How long is his hair? ¿Qué tan largo es su cabello? Especially, we use this type of question with girls, right? How long is her hair? Or probably with boys, but it's not so common, right? Because we may know, or most of guys, they have short hair. So why are we going to ask about if it is long or short? Because we already know about the information. So probably if you want to have this type of question in regards to boys, you can ask about the color, right? What color is his hair? Okay. You can also ask what color is her hair? If you want to ask about a girl's color, right? Is dark brown, is light brown? It's, um, what other color do we have? Si lo tienen eh, de otro color, teñido también, verdad? It depends on you. Age, 
how do we ask about age? This is a very basic question that we use since the beginning, you know, since English basic. How old are you? How old are you? But if we want to ask about other people, in this case, a girl, how old is she? And the expressions or the possible answers that we are going to have are this one. If you want to be specific, you can use this reply. She's 32. And that's it. We are being specific. Tiene 32. Si sí, sabemos que está a punto de cumplir 32, we are going to use the expression about. She's about 32. She's about 32. Okay. She's about 32. And we also have these expressions. The expressions, whenever we want, we don't want to be specific. Está en sus 30, está en sus 20, está en sus 40, okay? It's another category or another expression that we have. She is in, he is in. And then we have a possessive, en sus. Esto es un possessivo. Her is for girls and his is for boys. She is in her Various twenties. ¿Cómo diríamos está en sus cuarenta? Escribimos. Look. Four. Sí, sí. Mm -hmm. Ya estamos. Lo voy a escribir más grande. Ya estamos. He's in his forties. Uh -huh. Y se escribe de esta manera, miren, for its. Y si está en los 50, de entre 50 a los 59 años, ¿cómo diríamos? It's not for it. Fear, escribimos fear. Fear. Y si está en sus 60 años. 60s. Escribimos muy bien, six. Si se fijan, todos terminan en I, E, S. 20s, 40s, 30s, 50s, 60s. Y es otro tipo de expresión que usamos para referirnos a la edad. Estoy en mis 30, ¿ok? Si no quiero decir cuánto tengo. Y esa es la información. ¿Ok? Pregunta sobre esto. Porque hoy sí vamos a... Repasar, ¿cómo nos vamos a describir? Remember, tenemos cuatro categorías acá. Bueno, aquí en este cuadro solo tenemos tres categorías. Uno, la altura, el cabello y la edad. Altura, cabello y la edad. ¿Ok? But what I really need you to remember, it's about... The questions, las preguntas que hacemos es lo que sí me interesa que recordemos. What does she look like? How tall is she or he? How long is her hair? Or how long is his hair? And this one is the easiest one. How old is she or... How old is he? If we want to talk about the color of the hair, what color is his or her hair? And this is like extra information. Preguntando por los lentes. Does he wear glasses? Does she wear glasses? If you go to the platform, there you have an exercise in which you need to have this information. So let me show you. And we are going to complete this exercise. 
completémoslo para practicar a la misma vez. Look at this one. Jorge, can you please read the question? Well, the complement, the answer. What is the answer? This one. My brother is 26 years old. Okay, my brother is 26 years old. So what is the question? How old is he? Mm -hmm. How old? How old? Is he? You can use he, or if you want, you can also use my brother. Okay, how old is my brother? How old is he? In number two, Glenda. Take a look at the answer. Miremos la respuesta. Es alguien que está dando la respuesta. I am. Uh -huh. Okay. Esa es la altura. Ajá, es la altura. Ajá. How, how tall is she? How tall is she? Pero no nos está diciendo Ah, no, she. no, es, es yo. Ajá, estoy yo Ajá. dando mi información. Entonces me están preguntando a mí. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería? Si estamos bien con how tall, that's okay. Ajá. Is, is... ¿Alguien me, Alguien me está preguntando a mí. Ajá. ¿Cómo me preguntaría? ¿Alguien más que sepa? Ayudémosle a, a Glenda. Let's help Please. her. Please. Ok. Uh -huh. Elena, yes. Somebody How is asking. How are you, teacher? Yes. How, How tall are you? That's ok. ¿Qué tan alto eres? Oh, y yo doy, y respondo. I am one meter. 73 or 173. Look at this one. Number three. What is your opinion? Uh, let's have Ellen Nilsson. What does he look like? Okay, correct. Because look, nos está diciendo de él. Y nos está preguntando de su general appearance. Okay, nos dice que es alto. Y a very good looking man. So how does he Okay. Ambas opciones son correctas. How or what? Como ustedes quieran escribirla. How or what? ¿Cuál dejamos? How or what? De acuerdo al cuadrito que estábamos compartiendo ahorita. What? Miren, aquí dice what. Y les dije que podemos usar ambas. How does or what does. Dejemos what. A ver cómo nos va. Take a look at the other one. Eden Nilsson. Look, dice my sister's hair is medium length. Me está preguntando de mi hermana. What is the question that we need to have here? <clears throat> How long is? Mm -hmm. Your sister hair? Muy bien. How long is your sister? Possessive, meaning sister's hair. Ahí está ya. Number five, Carlos. Me están preguntando a mí. I am 40 years old. I am 40. ¿Qué pregunta tendrían que hacerme a mí? What is the question that they need to ask me? How old are you? There we go. How old are you? Great. Rita, look at number six. They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. ¿De qué me están preguntando? 
about the hair, about if they are tall or what is the information of their appearance, general, appearance uh, in general. Uh, what do they look like? What does or what do? Do. Do, because we're using they. They look like. What do they look like? Muy bien. And let me have for number seven. Ivania, number seven. He's one meter and eighty. How tall is he? There we go. How tall is he? Any correction that you would like to do in this moment? Or can I proceed? Veamos como no fue. Dice partially correct. Ah, what is the problem with this one? ¿Qué pasó acá? ¿Qué le debo de quitar? El signo. La Vamos a ver. Porque ya está ahí. Vamos a ver si ahora. Mm, not really. It is still saying que está incorrecta. Ocupemos entonces. Teacher. Uh -huh. Ahí menciona eh, brother. Yes. Tiene que ser all, all is your brother. Muy bien. I guess now. Let's try with this one. How old is your brother? There we go. Podemos corregir la número uno entonces. How old is your brother? It's a very specific question then. Bien. Pueden copiarla si ya lo completaron. Estamos muy bien. There we go. Questions to ask about appearance. Como preguntamos sobre la apariencia. Muy bien. Veamos esto. Este es un listening. But let's have this one later on. As of right now, I really need you to go back with your group. And again, se van a describir entre ustedes. No alguien lo va a describir a ustedes. Ustedes se describen si escuchan que su compañero... Hizo mala pregunta. Ah, ok. So I'm going to correct him or I am going to correct her. Ok. Let's help us. Ayudémonos. Describámonos con lo que hemos visto ahorita. Ayer empezamos a hacer, but we didn't finish. A general appearance, height, hair, and age. Todas estas categorías las vamos a utilizar. Ok. So let's go, it's time to work. I'm just going to be listening to you. Let me have four room. Aquí vamos, go class. ¿Ah? Sí. Ok, les Vaya, este, nos describimos cada uno. Glenda. A chiste. Glenda. Hola. No me oye. Sí, L. Sí. Ede. Yo le escucho. Vaya, Ede, no lo habíamos visto. No, que aquí he estado. Ah. Cada uno nos vamos a ir describiendo así. Sí. ¿Quién empieza? Ede. Ladies first. ¿Ah? Ladies first. No, primero Ede. No, primero Yanni. Ede, usted primero, hombre. 
Instruyanos, por favor. <risa> ok. Vaya, primero general appearance. General information, maybe. Uh -huh. I'm the Nilsson Molina. Sí. I'm 58. I'm Salvadorian. ¿Qué más? ¿Cuánto dijo? 58. 48. 58 tengo ya. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> And my... I have a short ¿Mm? black hair. ¿Qué dijo? No me escuchó dijo? por estar anotando. Pues sí. Le voy a dar copia. Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh. You are tall, medium, short. ¿Hm? Eddie. Sí. <ríe> no moleste usted. <ríe> <laughs> He's my my hair is very black. Huh? My hair is very black. <laughs> His hair very black. Very dark. Yeah, how do, you, how do you say? <laughs> huh? uh -huh. Why do you say that? Mm -hmm. Vaya. Puro. ¿Qué más? Muy negro. ¿Cuánto mide? You are... ¿Cómo es? ¿Ah? Uno, uno diez. Uno. Mido. Ay, mire un seis. Pistol. Un... One sixty nine. Vaya. Ahora, usted, Glenda. Oh, eh, tengo una duda, Peme. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo digo mido? Mido. Mido, de ah, medir. Mid. ¿O cómo digo mi altura es? You can say I My am. Child. I am, y luego decimos el metro y los centímetros. I am one mm. meter seventy two. I am. Así se Yes. Ok, entonces, I am pretty. <laughs> yes, you are. Linda is I pretty. Am pretty. <laughs> my, my hair is long black. I am 42. And I am, es que eso quería, quería como enlazar la, la, la respuesta. Y mido <laughs> esto. ¿Cómo lo digo? And I am. And I, uh, and I am. I am. Meror. Juan Meror. Is. With. Five. Five three. Okay. Ten. So and I am. Juan Meror. Fifty three. Cincuenta y tres. Sí. So and I am. Juan Meror. Fifty three. Y ahí se queda toda la respuesta. And I am. Meror. One meter. Can you repeat. One meter. Fifty-three. Muy bien. Fifty-three. Fifty-three. There we go. Es, es todo. Excellent. Ya lo dijo todo, Glenn. Ellen Nilsson. Ellen. Hello. My name is Ellen Nilsson. I live in El Salvador. I'm in my church. In one meter and 75. Um, my hair is black. My. Okay. Yes. I am. You are very tall. Uh -huh, I am very tall. <laughs> Gabriela. Hola. Gabi, Gabisito. Hola. Hi. What does. What that Ivania looks like? Um, 
she have medium wavy brown hair and she is beautiful and just that <laughs> oh so sweetie <laughs> yeah. okay remember gabby she has she has uh, she has yes but that's true yeah ivania is a very beautiful girl she is thank you you too and Gabi yeah. too. We all and are. George too. Alberto. And Alberto too. Alberto. We all are. Alberto. What a beautiful class. Oh, hello. hello. What does she? What does teacher looks like? <laughs> I. Uh, I think teacher is pretty tall because she. She said she is one meter seventy. Seventy two, actually, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, she is a pretty woman, and I don't remember the uh, mm -hmm. age, Hi. but she is. You June? don't remember about June. my age, you know? Yeah. On don't... Monday, it was my birthday. I didn't tell you guys. So I am really? 32, yes. I 32. am 32. 32, yes. So I'm in my 30s. by am strange. <laughs> the same as you, right? Thank you, Ivania. Happy yes. birthday, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. We need to celebrate, right? So sorry, but we... <laughs> no, no, I know you didn't know. You didn't know. know. <laughs> yeah. No, you didn't know, right? So that's that's okay. So this is just information for you. Uh, <laughs> para este grupo. Don't worry. But you're mm -hmm. doing great. Estamos haciendo muy bien las preguntas and describing. Excellent description. So vamos a escucharnos ya. Escuchemos a sus compañeros. Go to the main room. Okay. Okay, okay. thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Hello. Okay. Let's wait for your classmates. Okay, aquí vienen ya. Here we go. It is time to listen. Let me listen to you. Okay, don't worry. If you're trying to describe yourself, and if I correct you, okay? Si los corrijo, no se preocupen, okay? Es para que si vuelvo a preguntarles o si alguien más les pregunta, pues esta vez sí lo hagamos súper bien. Here we go. Correction is part of the process. Let me see. Um, Jorge, tell me a number from one to 10. Six. Six. ¿Quién es el sexto? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's Eden Nilsson. El sexto en mi lista acá. So let me listen about you. How would you describe yourself? Go, please. Very handsome. I'm 48. <laughs> <laughs> And my hair is black. And I'm in 40s. 40s, sería 40s. 40. Yes, 40s, 40s. I am in my 40s. I am in my 40s, yes. Excellent, excellent description. Pero miren que seguro, con que empezó. No con su altura, no con su edad, con que empezó. <laughs> I am so Listen to Ivania. No, pero esa seguridad hay que proyectar. ¿Y por qué no? Pues, no más fuerte, teacher. <laughs> Listen to Rita. El galán de la noche. Exacto. From the class, ¿verdad? El de la clase. 
¿Quién se va a presentar ahora, Edenilson? Who is the next volunteer or big team? Number nine. There we go. Let me check who's the na number nine in my list. Jorge. I have Jorge. Go, please. <laughs> I am in my 40s. I am tall. I am one meter 70. I have short way around her. Okay. What is your opinion, class? Is he short or medium height or tall? 170? Short is tall. I guess he's tall, right? You are not sure. I guess you can say I am tall. Para mí eso es ser alto, ¿verdad? So, excellent description. Jorge, pick one of your classmates. Hoy sí por nombre, veamos. Who's the next one? Ivania. Ivania, let me listen about you. Thank you, George. <laughs> okay. I... ¿Qué? Tengo que describirme yo. Yes, go ahead. Okay. I am 33. I have medium wavy natural blonde hair, of oh. course. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you from El Salvador? I guess not, right? No, no. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> we didn't know, we didn't know with that. Okay, <laughs> go ahead, continue. I am... Um, one meter 65 and i am pretty great <laughs> with confidence i am pretty excellent there we go good description ivania who's next rita rita are you ready Linda. Uh, <laughs> okay. i am have um i am i am i, I am no, i am what uh mary 60. oh okay escucha um, algo más rita escucha algo más so don't worry i am hard you, what <laughs> two me i sorry two matter <laughs> what information <laughs> you hear, okay? yes that's what i heard you for it no <laughs> no you're all short or hot you wow what a confidence <laughs> <laughs> yes, seguridad, sí, no, no, no. Es para que creo que es la gripe Ay, que, no. que me tiene así. Vamos, Rita. <laughs> no, no I am, ¿cuál es lo contrario um, de helado? <laughs> Soy friolenta. Oh, ah, ok, <laughs> ok. No, don't worry. Start again, start all over, please. Otra vez empezamos. Okay. I have a. Um, um, Short hair, uh, curly hair, okay. and I have a forty-six. The forty-six years is meaning I have a forties in my forties. Okay. And only that. Okay. Remember, Rita, whenever we want to speak or tell the age we are going to use the verb to be i am 40 i am in my 40s okay yo soy no yo el okay. verbo tener no muy bien rita quien sigue who's the next one janina janina go please Hi. Teacher, solo una preguntita. Uh -huh. Para decir la edad es I have or I am. I am. Miren. Okay. I am. Siempre es el uh -huh. verbo to be. She is. En este uh -huh. caso personal, I am. There we go. Thank you. Eh, I am fairly short in middle age. I am one middle 60. Eh, I have long brown hair. Eh, and I am 55. Great description. Si se fijaron, ella usó otra categoría. Middle age. Muy bien, bien, Yanira. Vocabulario de la clase anterior. 
There we go. Excellent description. Who's next? Uh, 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 um, este. <laughs> Gabi. Okay, Gabi, go please. <clears throat> I am 28, I am long, no, no, sorry, I have long light brown hair and I fairly short, I am about uh, one meter 63 oh. and I am young. Just that. Young and beautiful. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Good description. If you see, she used this expression. I'm about. Usó para su medida. I'm about. Soy para dar su medida. También se puede usar. Excellent, Gaby. Pick one of your classmates. ¿Quién falta? Qué bárbara, Gaby. <laughs> Bien. Gabriela, who's the next one? Se nos fue Gaby. Gaby, Gaby. No, no, no. I am here. Ellen Nilsson. Ellen Nilsson, be ready. Let me listen about you. <laughs> Gracias, Gaby. Qué <Estoy> bueno. <laughs> in, in, in my thirty, I want better and seventy five. My hair is black. My hair is way B. Bye, teacher. Yeah. Okay. At the end, podemos unir esas dos categorías. My hair is. Primero decimos la textura y luego el color. Is. Wavy and. And black. That's it. No nos quiso okay. decir su edad. I'm in my, in my 30s. Dijo. In okay. my 30s. No sabemos. <laughs> He has 50. 39, tal vez. 39, right? Nah, nah. <laughs> in my 30s. No, no. <laughs> okay, excellent description. Ellen Nilsson, ¿quién me falta? Um, Carlos. Carlos is missing. I have four missing. There we go. Carlos, let me listen about you. Ah. Uh. I am Carl Hell Hair. Mm -hmm. uh, my eyes is black. Sorry, brown is brown. Okay. My skin. How do you say you spill means skin? Yes. My skin is brown. Uh, uh, I have one meter seven eight centimeter. Mm -hmm. uh, I have forty three years old. Mm -hmm. I am tall. Uh, I am. Handsome, yes. Of course. Funny. Yes. Vamos, yeah. a ver. Oh, oh. Vamos a ver. And that's it. Very complete description. Excellent, excellent. But you know, él mencionó algo. Vamos a verlo al final. ¿Cómo describimos nuestra piel? Okay, casi nadie describe su piel, but yeah, it's interesting. Or probably the color of his eyes. My eyes are. Y decimos el color, or I have, el color de los ojos, y luego decimos I. There are two ways in which we can describe about this type of appearance. Muy bien, Carlos. Completa descripción. Who's next one? Number. I still have Alberto, Guadalupe, Lorena, and Josué. Josué. Josué, go please. Ah, todavía no estoy listo, teacher, lo estoy terminando. Vaya, don't worry. 
Hey class, and where is Samuel? ¿Qué se me ha hecho Samuel? So, Carlos, he's not ready. Alberto, Lupita, or Lorena. Lorena. Lorena, go please. Hi. Hola, hola, buenas. Hello. Okay. I am medium height, one meter. Uh, 57 sería. 57. 57 uh, centimeters. Okay. I am have. Um, uh, my hair, perdón, my hair is short, black. I am 46 old. Oh, no sé si lo dejamos en 46. In 46, I care. 46. I'm 46. Uh, solamente. Very good job, very good job. Okay, Lorena, I still have Alberto. And yeah, but for is not ready, so Albert. the next one, Alberto, right? Albert. Thank nope. you, Lore. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, my name is Alberto, Jorge Alberto Dominguez Rivas. I am from uh, San Salvador, but uh, I, I live in Chalatenango a few time okay. mm, I am 23rd years old I am pretty tall I am one mirrors 18 told I am handsome I am How do you say joven, teacher? I don't remember. Young. I am young. And um, I have black hair. And black and, hair. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There we go. Very complete description. The whole profile, right? Where is he coming from? He told us about his age, about his appearance, you know? Excellent, very complete information. But you know what class? Lupita, she's still missing, right? And she didn't say anything. No le decía nada, Lupita. You're still missing. No, go, yo, I I no okay, go please. Let me listen <laughs> to you. I have, no, I am in my home. I have long black hair. Okay. I am one meter. Uh, 50, 56. One meter 56. And that's it. There we go. Excellent information. Muy completa y muy bien estructurado. And the last one, Josue. We still have time for Josue. Don't worry. If, we, if you are not sure about the information, we can help you. Okay? Vamos, Josue. Okay, go. Um, es que sinceramente en esto me está costando, teacher. Okay. Y me desconecté ahorita de la clase prácticamente. Ayer no estuve. Ah, vaya. Igual ahorita. Eh, me he descontinuado un poco. Ok, don't worry. Hagamos mm -hmm. algo, José. Eh, mañana vamos a tener una actividad. No con este mismo tema. Quizás sí vamos a iniciar con esto, un repaso. Pero tomémonos mientras los compañeros trabajan en grupos. No hay problema. Yo me tomo el tiempo de explicar y de que podamos eh, hacer esta descripción. ¿Ok, José? Eso me gusta okay, saber. La honestidad y que sintamos eh, esa seguridad. Necesito que estemos seguros para que así vayamos avanzando. ¿Ok? Muy okay, bien, José. Excelente. Gracias. So, class. 
Como les dije, ¿cómo describimos entonces el tono de piel? Skin tone, skin tone. Hay muchas variaciones de el color de piel, right? Muchas veces depende si andamos bronceados, que también puede ser una variación, o nuestro color real. But you know, si les pregunto en español, creo que es difícil saber cuál es nuestro tono de piel en sí, or not. ¿Cuál es su tono de piel? Así en español, en Spanish. Trigueño. Uh -huh. Y es que generalmente, o moreno, o... Ah, ah ok. Chelito, o blanco, como dicen, pero de ahí... Ven, o sea, usamos, no decimos soy blanco porque creo que nadie acá es blanco. Decimos chelito. How would you describe that in English? ¿Cómo eh, traduzco eso? Chelito, right? Trigueño. Chelito blanco. ¿Cómo es eso, Lore? <risa> <risa> ¿Ah? Imagen. Entonces, el color que aquí se lo voy a poner. Describing skin color. We still have five minutes. Look, tenemos este tipo de tono y vamos a descubrir cuál es el de nosotros. No, este no se adapta al Salvador. Just give me one second. Este me gusta. It's very interesting. Para describir los ojos solo decimos el color. And it doesn't matter. Let me show you this picture. Here we go. ¿Cuál se nos acerca un poco más a nosotros? Light, skin, fair, skin, medium, Olive, no creo que sea en nuestro país. Tan, bronceados, brown, dark brown and black. Creería que andamos acá. Look. Algo así es nuestra piel. Tan, right? That's true. I get. Or probably medium. El tono, el tono medio, but we are not being specific. Gabi is medium. Okay, and light skin, piel clara, o un poco clara, fair. George. Ajá, uh -huh, miren, light and fair, light and fair. Pero estos son solo unos cuantos ejemplos. Les voy a traer la, las diferentes texturas mañana, porque si sí hay mucha información de esto. Para que tengamos información extra. There we go. So, let me see. Solo voy a chequear la plataforma. I guess we still have one exercise. No, solo era listening. We are still missing the listening. Okay? So, let me show you. As tomorrow is Thursday, remember that we need to have section number four ready. Creo que, ¿quién entró hasta después? Lorena, Lupita, I don't remember who was the other one, and Alberto, I guess, right? We were working in this exercise. Ya trabajamos en este ejercicio, so, si quieren tomar nota de los ejercicios de este, section number four, exercise 4.6. These are the answers that we have there, the questions that we were going to make, okay? So you can have this exercise ready for tomorrow. Okay. You still have one minute, so you can copy or you can ask me about this. No sé si Lupita ya completó este ejercicio. Ahorita lo acabo de copiar, teacher. Muy bien, muy bien. En el caso Hola. de Lore. Ah, ahorita es, tomé captura, solo que eh, la última. Es la última, muy bien. La última. Ay, si Ahí me está. la aguanta un ratito, permítame. No worry. Por favor. Listo. Vendo copia. 
Listo, yo creo, yo creo que el Enilson ya terminó la sección 5 también, right? No, teacher, estoy en no. una de, uh, uh, después de esa, de un audio que hay que escuchar, que no, no lo entendí. Oh, really? Ok. En el Enilson ya va en el próximo curso. Excelente. Muy bien. So, don't worry. Igual, si hay alguna pregunta que tengan, si hay algún tema que tengamos que reforzar, hagámoslo. Para eso es la clase para repasar y para practicar. Don't worry. Es mejor que preguntemos aquí en la clase y no que nos movamos al siguiente curso sintiéndonos inseguros. ¿Ok? Esa es la idea. So you can be eh, confident with the information that we are presenting. ¿Ok? So, it's time to stop the class. It was a great class, great exercise. Don't forget to practice describing and asking questions about our appearance, okay? So thank you so much for joining today's class. Let's see you tomorrow. See you Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye, nice day. Bye. Thank no you, Samuel, para que la... Por eso me hace falta Bye. Samuel. Bye, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> No está Samuel, que se me hizo Samuel, por cierto. Ahí me lo está saluda. Está trabajando en misión oficial. Ah. Official mission. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Okay. With so, Gustavo. With Gustavo. He was not in the class. Tomorrow we'll be here. They will be here. Okay. So, see you, class. Okay. See you. Okay. Bye. See you. See you.